Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike from Epic Future Space, and I just wanted to real quickly respond to Space Vidcast's most recent episode. First of all, Ben, you're crazy. <laughs> no, for real, though. Uh, the question you guys had was, can China make it to the moon? And I really think that they can. When you look at their program, for a long time, people didn't take them seriously because they considered them pre-Mercury program, just like you guys said. With them having the Shenzhou spacecraft and Shenzhou 5, got them to the Mercury program status. With it being comparable to the Soyuz capsule, which is a three-person capsule comparable to the Apollo capsule, also three person and with China starting off with that sort of level of capsule I think that right now they have successfully completed their Gemini program they've already done a spacewalk they've already done unmanned and now man docking what they're doing and wh how they've done things has been so efficient I mean the amount of money that they've spent over this entire 13 year period of them actually doing the Shenzhou program doesn't even compare to what we spend on NASA in one year and that's what they've spent over 13 years. So I definitely think with their level of efficiency and the way that they're doing things, they definitely could make it to the moon in, you know, 10 years, maybe even less. So I guess the question that we all need to ask ourselves is, does China even want to go to the moon? I mean, they have all this stuff planned for Tiangong, and they're going to build a much larger version that's a little bit more like the Muir space station. So, yeah, they've talked about going to the moon, but have we actually seen them, you know, at least drawing up hardware or even building anything? What do they want to do? And what sort of steps are they going to be taking to, to do that? Thanks for listening.